Hey, what's going on, guys? This is going to be an audio-only video, but I'm going to talk to you today about how reparations for Haiti will not work. And Democracy Now! is calling for the United States and France to pay reparations to Haiti for some things that happened in the past. The U.S. military had occupied Haiti, and when Franklin Delano Roosevelt was Assistant Secretary of the Navy... Uh, there was a thing in the Haitian Constitution before FDR repealed it, which I think he should have repealed this part, that said a white male could not own property in Haiti. Well, FDR changed that. Some people blame that for Haiti's current problems, but that's not the case. Um, well, a lot of Haiti's current problems was to, when Toussaint L. Overture led the slave revolt. The slave revolt was not the problem. It's that many, uh, one of his anti-white right-hand men overthrew Toussaint L. Overture with the help of Napoleon Bonaparte. Toussaint L. Overture was, went to exile, and the right-hand man took over Haiti and massacred about every wh single white person in Haiti. And the only reason the Americans were spared is because they wanted to conduct trade with the Americans. The only reason white Americans living in Haiti at the time were spared. But that's a different video for a different day. Okay, the Dominican Republic tried to pay reparations to Haiti because this was a little bit different of a situation. When Haiti occupied the Dominican Republic and over had brutal force, very few of the victims are living to this day uh, or their first-generation family members. But the Parsley Massacre happened under uh, Dominican dictator Rafael Leonidas de Trujillo. And... He went to the Dominican-Haitian border on the Dominican side, but there were plenty of Haitians living there and some Dominicans of Haitian ancestry. Some of them were there legally, some weren't. But the military massacred people for basically just being Haitian. And um, apparently, now there are rumors that black Dominicans suffered under Trujillo as well, particularly ones that had known Haitian ancestry. Even though Trujillo himself was one-fourth Haitian, but that's a different video for a different day. Well, the uh, many of the first-generation descendants were alive at the time, and some of the actual victims that were wounded but not killed were actually still alive. So the Dominican Republic agreed on a reparations plan. Well, the reason the reparations plan got scrapped and the Dominican Republic will never, ever do this again is because the Haitian leaders basically pocketed the money it didn't go to the victims. It didn't go to the victims' families. And that's what happened. So if any reparations get paid to Haiti right now, I would probably say the majority of the Haitian public wouldn't necessarily approve of it unless there was a 100% guarantee that it went to the average Haitian. Because as Haiti is typically ranked as the most corrupt nation in the Western Hemisphere and one of the most corrupt in the world. If any kind of reparations get paid to Haiti, it's not going to go to the average Haitian. It's going to go to the government officials, and they're going to pocket the money. And Haiti has had those kind of corruption problems for years. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.